Billionaires and millionaires are all moving to the UAE right now in their droves. And I'm going to tell you exactly why and why it's important to understand the reasons. We've seen hundreds of thousands of millionaires move location in the last few years. It's estimated that over 50,000 millionaires have moved to the UAE in just the last two years. Right now, we're seeing people like Ray Dalio, CZ, Binance founder moving to the UAE. And we're seeing others like Russians, top Russians. We're seeing people that are from India like the Adani family again moving to the UAE. So what's the attraction? Are they actually trying to hide something or is it for a different reason? Okay, well, let me explain the reasons why people change location, particularly in this changing world. First of all, of course, you do have tax in today's world. It's difficult to actually plan. You think when you're in a country, they tax you when you earn it. They tax you when, they, when you spend it. They tax you when you invest it and they tax you on estate planning or inheritance tax. Every which way your family actually end up paying tax. Of course, you can say, well, you need to pay society. Well, perhaps there's a limit. There's certainly a tipping point. And people think, well, hang on a second. This is just too much. And that's one reason that people consider. And perhaps you might consider too. We look at security. And it's, again, a massive factor. We're seeing 20,000 people just in the last 12 months leave Africa and move to other locations like the UAE. When you think about your family, it's irrelevant on what you actually are earning. If you can be in a situation where you can earn just the same money or even a little bit less, but your family's secure and you can walk down the street without worrying, it's a massive factor. And of course, if we in the UAE, having lived there myself, I can tell you that you are so safe. You can actually leave your money in, uh, in uh, on a table and come back and it's still there. Your phone's still there. Super crazy. In fact, it gets you into too relaxed a habit when you then go to another country. I lived in nine different countries and I have to say the UAE as a hub with its flights, its connections, is a super effective place to be. And that's right now what's attracting these top billionaires. When we think about these top people, they're moving everything there. For companies, there's a corporation tax now of 9%, but it's still less than most countries. In fact, it's below 50% of most countries. And not only that, there's double taxation treaties. So that again means that you have a benefit to having a company based in these areas. You've got good regulations, particularly in the Abu Dhabi global markets, which is what attracts many in the financial industry. It's a central hub, it's a great time zone. You can fly anywhere super quickly. Okay, perhaps it's the best location. People are leaving Switzerland. They're leaving the Cayman Islands. BVI has a record low for registrations this year. It's seen that you have more political certainty in the UAE. Why? Well, there is no politics after all. There is a ruler, but you know what you've got. You know that you've got stability. Whereas if you're in a country where the politics change, people worry about it. Right now I'm in Mauritius and again, that's attracting a lot of people. Why? Again, you've got that stability. You've got reasonable tax at 15%. And of course, it's an area which is stunning and beautiful with a great financial center. Perhaps the world needs to reconsider where they live. Elon Musk, of course, from South Africa, moved to Canada and then to the United States. Growth periods, for sure, and you move location. But also within America, he's moved from city to city to try and make sure he's in the right hubs for the industries that he's in. And again, he's tax efficient. So whether it's tax, whether it's security, whether it's political stability, or perhaps you're an ambitious person and you just want to be where the growth is. Well, where's the growth? The growth is where the top people are moving to. I've lived in lots of countries. I can't tell you the best. 
I'd actually say to you, it swings and roundabouts. There's lots of different advantages and disadvantages wherever you go. But ultimately, you need to decide on the factors that you enjoy and what you really want for your family. Of course, it's a massive decision, but nevertheless, it's an important decision. You want to be what's tax efficient, perhaps maybe the weather counts for you, perhaps it's security, but ultimately, I think all of us have to realise, in today's world, sometimes the opportunities are elsewhere. For example, I know a friend of mine, Antwin Middleton, incredibly successful. Perhaps he was underappreciated, in my personal opinion, in the UK. I'd actually say in the financial industry, sometimes people are underappreciated. Sometimes there's more opportunities and you're more appreciated in another country. Richard Branson, he went a stage further. He bought his own island. Okay, I'd love to do that, but not in that league right now. But if you think about it, you have to open your mind. Billionaires, millionaires are considering where they live. Maybe me and you should do the same. I seem to have done it on a regular basis. For me, I think growth, I think experience, I think it's not what you get, it's what you become. And if you get experience in life, well, wow, it's fun. But also, the more you know, the more potential you have. What do you think? Would you change location? Do you really think it's a great idea as I do personally?